Queen's Indian Defense, Fianchetto, Nemzoitsk Variation, Quiet Line, 5, BB76. BG2 BB4 plus 7. BD2. Sharp a back and forth game where both players had chances. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. That was a well fought middle game that White got the better of. Both players missed some big chances in the end game. Opening with the Queen's Pawn. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. By taking control of the crucial d5 square and creating a space on which the knight can move to c3 without obstructing the c-pawn, move c4 helps to create a strong center. The move e6 creates a line for the dark squared bishop, sets up a rapid castle, and prepares to push a pawn to d5 and recover the piece if it is taken. Nf3 develops toward the center, putting pressure on the e5 square and adding another defender to the d4 pawn. The light squared bishop is getting ready to be fianchetto by the queen's Indian defense on b7, where it will affect the long diagonal. The light squared bishop is getting ready to be fianchetto on g2, where it will be positioned on the long diagonal. ba6 immediately attacks the undefended c4 pawn, hoping to provoke b2 b3. b3 protects the c4 pawn and prepares to fianchetto the dark squared bishop to b2, where it will sit on the long diagonal. Fianchetto move BB7 places the bishop on the long diagonal. Fianchetto move BG2 places the bishop on the long diagonal. BB4 plus develops the bishop and puts the king in check. BD2 develops the bishop toward the center and blocks the check. This defends a bishop that was under attack and had no defenders. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. It is the last book move. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is quite good. Backs off. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. So, the attacked pawn is protected. It is quite good. This blows the chance to build a queen off the beginning square. It is incorrect. That's a decent move. That's good. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. It is quite good. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. It is quite good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This uses a pawn to attack the center while vying for position. That's good. It's alright. That's good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. It is ideal. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. That is good. That's a decent move. That's good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. There is a better way to assign a defense to a weak pawn than this. It is incorrect. It's alright. That's good. Very precise. It is best. A powerful play. It is quite good. This is a missed chance to kick a knight. It is incorrect. There was only one move that was effective, and this wasn't it. It is incorrect. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. As a result, the rooks are placed in a single file and are able to cooperate to pose a danger. That's good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This could have been done lot better. It is incorrect. This exchange is fair. 
it is ideal. This poses a threat to an open file and a rook. It is incorrect. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. This poses a threat to an outpost manned by a knight. It is ideal. This exposes a knight assault. It is ideal. This defends the knight who was attacked. It is ideal. This forks multiple pieces. This is the only good move. It is a great move. The piece defends against a fresh threat while also capturing an enemy piece. It is ideal. This succeeds in capturing a helpless rook. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. Backs off. White is ahead at this point in the end game. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Among the best actions. It is quite good. That is a regrettable error. It is incorrect. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. Recaptures. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. That's good. Backs off. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. A wise decision. It is quite good. A powerful play. It is quite good. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be opposed as it attempts to promote by other pieces. It is quite good. That pawn was available for free. It is ideal. By moving it from the back rank, this activates the king in the end game. It is ideal. A passed pawn is pushed by this. That's good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. That's a decent move. That's good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. The moved pawn advances toward its objective. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. It's alright. That's good. This poses the risk of producing a passed pawn. It is incorrect. This gives the adversary the opportunity to promote a passed pawn. It is incorrect. This leads to losing material. There was only one good move there. This overlooks an opportunity to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is a blunder. This leaves a knight without defenders. This missed a move that would have produced a winning advantage. This misses an opportunity to recapture a piece. It is a miss. This loses a rook. This threatens to use a rook to counter a passed pawn. This missed a move that would have produced a winning position. This misses an opportunity to capture a free knight. This permits the opponent to fork pieces. It is a blunder. Sharp a back and forth game where both players had chances. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. That was a well fought middle game that White got the better of. Both players missed some big chances in the end game. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. This misses a chance to obtain a winning position. This ignores an opportunity to fork pieces. This permits the opponent to create a passed pawn. It is a miss sharp a back and forth game where both players had chances. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. That was a well fought middle game that White got the better of. Both players missed some big chances in the end game.